Hello everyone, my name is Koksik. I stream on Twitch, do designs and art, and also have a small store with badges, panels and overlays. Today, I will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw Twitch emotes. You can draw your emotes in any convenient art program. Having a live function makes life easier. I always paint in Photoshop, but you can use Studio Pro or Krita, which are free. As I said, use whatever is convenient for you. It's not necessary immediately purchase a tablet or upgrade your computer. Believe me, when you first start, an ordinary computer with a normal mouse and keyboard is enough. Let's get down to the drawing process. Let's create a canvas that is 500 pixels, 300 pixels DPI. The largest size you need for an emote is 112x112, but I prefer to work in a high resolution and then scale to fit. By working at a higher resolution, you have the ability to smooth out jagged lines, small colors, ears, and shading. No one will be able to notice this after scaling down. Also, with a large image size, you will not have to work through all the small details pixels by pixel. Instead, you can continue to use all brushes, which makes the process easier. However, this size also has a disadvantage. In the process, you can end up working on details that ultimately become invisible and insignificant after scaling. You can only get used to it. Any image can become an emote. The idea or meaning embedded in it is important. It can be an emotion, an object, or whatever. Today, I will draw a guy that's laughing. My advice is to look at enough examples of what you want to create. Not to copy their style, but to learn how to convey the desired emotion more easily. For example, Laughter is often expressed with closed eyes and tears from the edges of the eyes. The nose doesn't play a big role. It is either indicated by two dots or a small shadow. The head is also thrown back a little, and the mouth is turned up into a smile. I use a regular round brush and simple shapes to indicate the location and different features of the face. At the scratching stage, we should stick to the final square shape of our icon, so that we don't have to crop it further. It's okay to cut off small parts of the icon, be it the hair, the torso, or the arms. At this stage, don't be afraid to make the lines rough and the strokes imprecise. Layer separation makes this easy to fix. Right now, the brush seems to be quite thick but it will shrink as you scale the image down. Don't worry, keep practicing and redraw the lines over and over again if necessary. Be sure to turn on brush smoothing if you haven't already. Theory is a separate topic. As you can see, I am self-taught, so I will not pretend that I am a master at this. I will just give you some tips that you might find helpful. Beginners tend to use very bright, saturated colors, but the edges of the palette are often unpleasant to the eye, especially when combined with neighboring ones. Choose colors a little further from the edges of the palette. Leave faded colors to indicate light sources and elements that are glowing or are in emotion. Try not to make the skin tone too painful or copy the tone you like from another emote. Getting this down is really difficult, so it's okay if you don't excel in this area. Contrast is super important. You can turn on the grayscale mode in Photoshop to see if the colors you choose have enough contrast. I'm not a master at shadows, so I can't give advice on this. I just mentioned where the light falls on the face and lightly outline the contours of the element on one side. With a color darker than the main one, 
with a slight indent. Finally, the time has come to check out our emote on the Twitch Contrast website. Upload our image and it will automatically show you how the image will look on the different backgrounds and in small sizes. This is a super cool tool. Be sure to use it periodically. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any question, leave them in the comment. On my channel, you can find more videos on streaming topics and a link to my small design story for streamers in the description below. Wish you success in your work. Bye!